So here we have the Mini One five-door hatchback. Uh, this car's very unique in that it has a John Cooper Works styling kit on it. Uh, so low insurance, uh, but a very sporty appearance on the car. So let me start off by showing you around the outside of it, and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. That's the, uh, as for the outside, you can see that it's a five-door, as I mentioned already, with those black alloy wheels and tinted windows. Let's start off inside the boot and then work our way around the rest of the car from there. So as we approach the back of the car, you'll see we've got the John Cooper Works rear bumper on there. Uh, a 60-40 split folding rear seat and plenty of boot space as well. Okay, so we're just going to work our way back around to the front of the car. Uh, you'll notice that the black alloys that I mentioned before have got the John Cooper Works logo in the middle and the brake calipers are in red. Uh, there's plenty to run for the inside of the car, so let's hop in and we'll do that now. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. The front seats are leather, as you can see, uh, with the John Cooper Works floor mats and the door sill uh, protectors just there. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that now. Okay, so now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. On the left-hand side, we have the rev counter. We've got the speedometer in the middle, and on the right-hand side, the fuel gauge. You can see the total miles on this car are 9,685. The information displayed above that can be changed using buttons on the steering for various different bits of fuel economy information, or if you leave it for a few seconds, a big digital readout for the speedometer. Uh, so as I say, that's the button on the end of the indicator stalk here that I was using a moment ago. Working our way over into the center console area, uh, we've got uh, various buttons. The menu button is what will bring up the main menu. Uh, where you can access things like vehicle information, multimedia, radio. So when it comes to the radio, you can see we have FM, AM and DAB digital radio. If you want to listen to your own music, you can do. There's USB uh, device connection, auxiliary, and also uh, Bluetooth audio as well. And you can just access radio and media directly off of there if you wish to. Same with the telephone, you can add new device, follow the instructions on screen. It's very, very easy to do. Below that, we have the air conditioning. So this dial will determine the direction of the air. This one, the fan speed. And over here, for your temperature. Once you're happy with those settings, hit that button to turn the air conditioning on or off. You can recirculate the air that's in the car. That's a great way of heating it up or cooling it down quickly, depending on the temperature that you set here, of course. And we have a rear heated screen. Below that, We've got these three buttons here. So this car's got stop and start, which means it's designed to cut out in traffic to save you fuel. You can turn that system off, should you wish to. That button starts and stops the engine. All you need to do is make sure you have the key in the car. So I've got the key just here, for example. Hit that tab to start the car. Same thing to stop it again. That turns off your traction control. And under that, we've got the USB and auxiliary inputs that I mentioned a moment ago. And a six-speed manual gearbox. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to call any of our MJA sites. We'd love to hear from you soon.